All right, so we're going to be going over a game. And this game was played by none other than Shibano Toramaru. Everyone knows good old Shibby. Everyone knows good old Shibby. And I'll tell you a little bit of a secret here. If you don't know why we all love Shibano Toramaru, this game is going to do wonders for showing you exactly why. It's kind of like the root of Shibby. How he got all of our attention, as it were. Or mine, anyway. Um, I don't want to say that he has been winning all of his games, though. It's sad. He lost his game in the Japanese Agon Cup against Ichiriki Ryu. What else happened there? He's won a lot of them, don't get me wrong. I mean, lately he played in the Japanese Gosei Preliminaries. He won those pretty well. Uh, Japanese Kisei League. Is winning those pretty well. Did flub the Samsung Cup though. Did flub the Samsung Cup. But I mean, you went against Park Jung Wan. Like, how do you take him out besides with like a howitzer or something? I don't know. I don't know how you take out that guy. It's it's tough. It is tough. But that is okay. He still has a nice, comfortable 60% win ratio. So that's really cool. And, uh, yeah, gonna look at this game. All right, so... This game starts out... with Black taking the 4-4 four, four point in the upper right-hand corner. White, I would say, cowardly takes this one, not inviting anything and everything. He's... He's saying no diagonal play today there, Mr. Shippy Pants. No siree. But I can't really say it's cowardly because Lee uh, Sedol recently opened up this way too in um, one of my study group lectures that I still need to upload to Patreon today. So, I mean, it's not that passive, but I do take note of it whenever it happens. But all right. Double four four points from black. That makes us a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous indeed because double four four points. Double four four points are. Uh, they make me nervous nowadays because whenever I see double four four, I'm like, ooh, is this guy about to go bleep blooping? Is he about to go bleep blooping? I don't know, man. I don't know. But all right. Good old Han. Take a three, four points. Okay, okay, okay. White approaches low because that is all the rage right now. Oops, there we go. Now, here's where things get interesting. The bleep bloops like this move, probably because it's like giving territory, we can expand from it pretty easily. Whereas moves like, get over here, get over here. Pincers, hard to figure out where we're getting territory from just yet. Like however you pincer, we don't actually pick up points right now. So I can see this as being a little bit more solid in that regard. But if you like pincering, there's nothing wrong with that either. Nothing wrong with it at all. But, since someone wants to bleep bloop, Shibano says, Let's bleep bloop. Oh yeah, we're hitting that 3-3. Three, three. You want to do that? I'm game. But here's the thing. There's 3-3 three, three bleep blooping, and then there is 3-3 three, three Shibanoing. So just because you see this little old move right here, don't assume that you think you know what's going on. And by that I mean this one. Sorry, I was pointing at the 4-4 stone for some reason. That one right there. Don't assume that you know what's going on there. No, 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 no. Feels a bad man. I thought Shibana was all about the influence. <laughs> 
Fu fu fu. We shall see how this develops. White blocks this way. It's I mean, it's pretty standard and anti-basic, but if you want a wall here, usually we're blocking this way because of Jiseki. It's stupid. But all right. Black extends, and white decides to do not the uh, small knight or the extend. White decides to do old school move. That's a little bit strange. Always drawing cards with the three month in a row tier one sub. Thanks for your sub three months in a row. So yeah, he's going with the old school. Okay, okay, okay. Who can tell us the difference between this and this in terms of options for black? Does anyone know? How do we choose one over the other? Or is it just random? Just be like, Close your eyes and be like, I'm going to play, and then wherever your hand stops, you play. What do you think? Indeed, always drawing cards. It is a real board. That is not fake, sir. That is real wood. So, yeah, does anyone know? Can anyone tell us a difference here? If you can't, it's cool. Uh, this gets really complicated, potentially. Because we've got the extension. We've got the counter. We've got a lot of different options here. But when we choose this one, there's fewer options. I mean, what's your opponent going to do? Is your opponent going to play away? Hell no. Your opponent ain't going to play away because this is probably going to make you sad, right? So we're not playing away from this, that's for sure. So our opponent's going to play. Is he going to play the clamp? No, of course he's not going to play the clamp because they're going to drop down and make you sad all over again. So is he going to play the honey over here? I mean, why would you? You just honey here and then connect and then you're sad all over again. So the only thing your opponent's going to do is play here. So in that regard, it's easier to read out. Much, much, much easier uh, to read out. So our opponent's going to Hane. And after we Hane, we know what we're going to do. We're either going to back off. But the back off is what Black wants when he plays this variation. Because he wants to extend like so. He wants you to extend like so, and then he can frack off like, you know, wherever, because you can't kill this group. Sorry, you can't. It's alive. Sad face, but it is alive. Right? So instead of this, White says, I'm going to double Anne and see what you want to do. Do you want the corner? If you want the corner, you must live small in the corner. But good old shibby cakes. He ain't about that corner, is he? No, 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 no. He is a Japanese player through and through. He's gonna say, I don't want that. It is all yours. So, okay. We're getting rid of it. I mean, we could play here still. If we really wanted influence, we could play here as white. Um, let's say maybe really quickly. Let's get rid of this stone and put like a San Rinse on the board. This would make sense because we're still building, right? We, so we could play this way under uh, certain circumstances. But right now it doesn't really make any sense because this is a black stone in the corner and nothing is really here, so we don't really see why we would go ahead and push out here. So we're going to make the exchange like so. And we'll take a stone like so. And then two stones are dead. Okay. 
two stones are dead. No problem. At this point, we could play away, but Black decides to extend because he's got a little extension over there. So he's like, all right, I'll be extending. Easy peasy. Pros are lazy. Yeah, pros are lazy. That, that's why I picked this variation. Like, I don't want to do reading. I'm just going to just gonna do this. Whatever, dude. Whatever. That's how I got to, what is he, Aton? Is it on the board? Yeah, that's how I got to 8P, by being lazy. But all right. Big decisions to make in our world. Are we going to try and attack? Are we going to approach? Are we going to extend? Approach, approach? Instead, white plays the Hane. Black can get a huge wall extending if white doesn't comply. The C18 odd is going to come back to hurt you. That's true. That is true. Kanika, that is true. That's why we see white responding here. If we did not respond, we have to keep in mind there's problems here, right? If we play this way, these two stones are dead. Oops, that was a mistake. And if we play here, well, we can't do this because we get blocked. However, this is now a thing. That is very much a thing. Now if we extend and block and extend, we have to back off from here and have our stones killed. And if we just take, then we get surrounded. And if we fight, there's still Aji. So, all right. White plays the Ane. And Black is like, do you know who I am? I am Shibby Cakes. I want influence. Yum, 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 yum. Who's getting a wall here? But you might say, but, but, the, I mean, four, five, six, why? We're giving six line territory away. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Why is it okay to give six line territory to our opponents here? Can someone please answer this? Why, 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 why are we doing this? This is insane. This is insanity. Oh, the humanity. We're giving away six line territory. Oh my God. Just over and over again. Because it's not territory yet. Exactly. See, I trick you, I trick you, I called it sex line territory, but these aren't points. These aren't points yet. I trick you, I trick you. See, remember, we've got this still, right? Into this. Which means this is a forcing move. Now we don't need to make this exchange because we, can, we already know this exists, right? So we can avoid making that exchange, just play directly into here. And then that has to be played. And then suddenly, where was that six line territory? What were you freaking out for? Look at that. I don't see six line territory here. Do you? I don't see it. I don't see it. So black plays here first. This is a little bit risky because we could get pincered here. And then after this one, we could still decide to play this way. Um, have that killed off, like so. And then continuing along our merry little way into something like this, into maybe something like so. And then this could theoretically uh, kind of grow pretty quickly, right? So rather than do this, rather than do this, we play this move first, and then we can play this one later if we need to. Right? Cool, huh? Since when we call Moyo territory? Well, you know, some people do. They look at that and be like, my points, my points. But now this is a tough decision. Ooh, this is a tough decision. What does white do here? Who likes this move? Anyone? Does anyone like this move? Do 
Is anyone like, ooh, baby, that move. How you doing? Anyone like that move? Continuing there would be small and just covering. Yeah, and, 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 remember, you did not do jack against that stone. You did nothing to it. So we could defend, but there's nothing there right now, right? Defending here is a trap for fuels, and you are not going to be a fuel. So we have choices. We could like do something in here and give the wall a target. We can extend here, but that's slow. We can approach here. We can try to cut that off, but this isn't going to die. This is this is more of a handicap strategy, I feel. Um, for those of you who are like salivating over the idea of playing here, just for the record, the best you can do is like something like this. And we're not out yet, or we're not enclosed yet. You can do something like this, but there's this one. You can be like, that's fine, I'm going to kill it. And then you could be like, there's this one, and you could be like, that's fine, it's not going to go anywhere. And then we could just keep playing forcing moves here. And you can see that if you think that this is going to die anytime today, you are on special pills. That's just, just not going to die. Elementary to go, hello. So yeah, this, this isn't going to die. This is like a handy. This is like a trick that we play in handicap games sometimes, because if we're giving high amounts of handicap to someone, they probably aren't really all that great at making shape. Shh. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to take advantage of them a little bit. But in even games, this thing, this kind of thing, this kind of play don't work. This this crab don't fly. That just don't fly. Nope, 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 nope. So. Must do something else. White says, I'm going to lean. Black says, okay. You must want more influence for some reason or another. That is fine. So make the exchange here. We asked the question. Question was denied. Can we kill off the two stones? White answered, no. Now we play here to save our stones. We've got Aji there later. In in case of emergency, break open glass, right? we got like a little base here in case we uh, need something. Every stream I do is a life and death lesson because something is always dying. Sometimes it's even me. It's all right. We're just backing off. Can I come out, says black. Can I surround you, says white. So, all right, I, I see what we're trying to do here. We're trying to ensure that the area doesn't grow, keep black into low territorial game, and then between the pickup here, the territory of, we have growing up here, Comey, maybe we can do something. But Black, he's not going to just play here and connect up his opponent. No, 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 no. He says, all right, do it. How is this connecting to this? That is the question here. How is that happening? White says it's happening by my connecting up this way. Looks like from a book. <laughs> It is elementary. Elementary, dear wanna be done. Elementary. Defense. Cut through. And that is a solid cut. That is a solid cut. We can Atari, it goes nowhere. We can Atari. And it goes nowhere. 
we can semi-Atari, but we can simply connect. We can Atari, and then we can take And then white connects. So he made the best out of a bad situation. <coughs> the dent on the go board, I'm guessing the dent uh, K, I'm guessing this is like K13. I, I can't really tell. It makes me sad too, if it makes you feel better. I was very sad when I put that dent in my go board. I have another dent over here though. The slightest indentation that you can't see here and here. All that territory for Gote influence. Yeah. But the question becomes, can he do anything with the influence? And it's not that much territory. Like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Do we count this yet? Maybe? 16, 18, it's probably like 20 points back in here. It is Gote though. But you're right, Black's on the same page. Like, you know what, I picked up 20 points here. I'm going to defend myself, but where, how do, where do we defend ourselves over here? Anyone have a coordinate for me? How do we defend ourselves over here? This is very important. How do we defend over here? Do we like jump? Do we do things like this? Like how do we how do we defend ourselves over here? D eight. D eight D eight D eight. I'm gonna increase the size of my OBS so I can actually read the coordinates that are on my OBS. There we go. D eight is Aha. -ha. Yes. We play here as opposed to here. The three space would be bad. The three space would be bad because it leaves an invasion point and there's no real reason to leave the invasion point here. So here is a good example of when to use the large knight to defend yourself because that way it's harder for your opponent to get in here. So yeah, that's how we defend. That is how we defend you ourselves over there, and why. But that does give white the opportunity to extend off of the influence. It looks like white is going to be the person in this game to get all of the influence. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Black is a territorial player, don't you know? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Good old Shibano Tormaru is very much all in favor of that territory. Except, I already did a spoiler, didn't I? Oh boy, is my face red. I already told you I picked this game because it reminds me of Shibano when we first fell in love with him. He got influence. Which means he's getting influence on this board. How is he going to do that? That's weird. How is Shibi going to get influence on this board. Huh. It's a good question. Is he going to pincer here? That doesn't give influence. He backs off. Now, we could jump up here and try to build. And quite frankly, I'm a little surprised. Oh, no. No, don't generate Clipperino. And quite frankly, I'm surprised he didn't. Instead, he says, I'm interested in your corner. Now, the thing with going into the corner like that, it's a little bit slow. Your opponent could respond, I grant you. And if we do respond, then this is an instance where white might actually play an unorthodox move here in order to grow. I could see either of these actually being a thing. Maybe even something like this. 
uh, if he wants to remain kind of like solid or even here. But black has other options besides that 3-3. Three, three. Many, many, many other options. Many indeed. I guess white wants to avoid being in territory with a wall. That's true. So we could play here. A um, little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. We're trying to live here, not gain influence. So we pincer instead, or we attach instead. White plays Hane. Black backs off. White connects. And black turns. Now, what's interesting here is white uses this position to try to surround. And it looks like by playing uh, this variation, he looks like he's trying to surround again. So it seems that white is trying to play the surrounding game. And usually when you play the surrounding game, that, in that usually indicates you're going to be getting influence. But I already spoiled this game for you, and I said that Shibi is getting influence. So doesn't this make you very confused? Play double Hane. Extends. And like I mentioned, influence to surround. Huh. At this point, you might ask yourself, uh, does Dwyron actually know what influence means? Because uh, he insists that black is the one that's getting it, but I don't see how that's possible on this board. And I, I, you'd be forgiven for asking yourself that question. I mean, that's, that's a valid question to ask at this point, I think. That's a very valid question to ask at this point, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Black responds with defense. Either something's about to go crazy around p8 or black leaps out like f6. Well, black says, here's my defense of my corner. What you want to do about it? And white says, I'm going to take your corner away from you. And black says, Oh, really? Are you sure you... Oh, are you sure? I mean, that's my corner. Heaven, heaven forbid you take my corner. Don't you know how much I like corners? Captured. And here we have the start of influential play because we're we just cut off this group that needs a defense here we go here's the start here's the start but black is no fool he's an eight don professional he defends himself and black says oh now it's on oh now it's on now we're going to be fighting. Oh, yeah. And White says, I don't really care what you're doing. Dude, I'm making points. Like, you can make shape or whatever, but I'm I'm making points, okay? I don't I don't I don't know what you're doing, but I'm making points. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, Time to put pressure back on White's group where it belongs. And White's just like, uh, dude, your group. Your group, dude. You're over you're overreaching. Did you just really try to run with a two space extension in front of my group that has shape? You nitwit. This rate, Shibby, you're never getting out of seven don. Never happening. Poking at the cutting, at the uh, elephant dying. White's just like, yeah, that's what I thought. I don't have any Sweet idea what just happened. Sirk, thank you for the $5 donation. Much appreciated, good sir. So yeah, all right. 
We've got the stone just dying. Clearly, Shibano doesn't have any idea what he's doing. He's just, like, flailing. What a noob. What a noob. What a noob. From now on, we're going to study Hanzeki. He knows what's up. Trying to save his stone. White's just like, yeah, okay. You save that stone. We're just going to keep killing you off the middle of the board, kid. It's like, that's okay. I don't mind. White's like, you will. You keep these moves up. Oh, you're gonna mind. You're gonna mind. Stands. Canucks. Black turns. White's like, okay. If you insist, you have to go back and connect that out. Then I'm gonna connect this, and then your whole everything is just going to crash. Ah, <sighs> Shibby. Poor Shibby, we thought. We thought he was a good player. Clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe, maybe it's an off day for Shibby. Maybe it's an off day. Maybe he's feeling bad. Because now he's just poking around. Just poking around, and White's just like, I'm gonna just keep surrounding you and taking territory, dude. Black's like, alright, I got a cut. White's like, no, you really don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you, actually. And black connects. And white drops down. So now you have to go back and connect, at which point this is just going to keep growing and white's going to win the game. That's how that's going to go. That That's just how that's going to go. Except black says, I will not. That is not how this is going to go. I'm going to resist and attack your three stones. Okay. That is a bamboo joint. Black tries to capture said bamboo joint, but white's shape, or black's uh, shape, sorry, is not strong enough for such shenanigans. Small knights can be cut, remember? So we have small knight here, getting cut, like so. This stone has to be captured, which means this just gets to connect. Easy peasy. Just like that. Well, now we're surrounded. No two ways about it. It's time to go back and save our stones. But that would mean getting these killed. And he ain't about that. Oops. Tari. Connect you. And last but not least, defend. Okay. So now it's time to go back and connect, right? Now it's time to go back and connect on that little cutty point. But if you thought that, ooh, you'd be thinking wrong. Because this is Shibano. Shibano comes up with moves that are crazy. He says, I'm going to push. And I'm going to cut. Maybe I can capture the two stones or surround white, and that way I won't have to connect that stone up. Okay, 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 I getcha. I getcha, see where the counterattack goes. White jump, save his cutting stones, that's, that's obvious. All right, we're trying to surround again. Okay, okay, okay. White says, these stones up there are mine. Okay, okay. Which means, which means, which means, which means, this is almost surrounded, so we have to get out. Okay. So far, so good. 
Now this is the issue. Extending out here is a problem. So black says, how about I play here instead? That way if you extend out, I have other options at my disposal. I can Atari here, I can Atari here. Now we're thinking, now we're thinking. So white says, you know what? That's fine. Your stones are dead. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 of them. 12 dead stones sitting on the board. Now what do we do? Well, if we can kill this group, it won't matter. So we extend. And black extend, because we can't kill the group if the stones are dead. White says, I'm wanting your stones. And black's like, I don't want you to have my stones. So white has to turn. And now we're just kind of running around. Do, 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 don't mind us. We're just a running. White turns. Black turns. Again, threatening capture. Like so. Just like so. Oddly enough, my stones are too high. I wonder how that happened. Somewhere in here, I guess, huh? Anywho. So we have that. We have that. Like so. And white needs more liberties, because remember, to, ca to kill with this, we need like one, two, three, four, five, six. Right now we've got uh, three on the inside, three on the outside, that's six. But as he's capturing these, he'll capture these, so that's no good. So we need to extend again. Black says, I kill you. White says, no, you don't. And it's true. It's true. He doesn't. That's safe. The middle stones are dead. Middle stones are dead. But just because they're dead does not mean they do not have value. The fact that white had to ignore this move. Sure, those stones are dead. But this area, holy crap, this area. I think this area more than makes up for the fact that those stones are dead, don't you? So white says, I live. And black says, no, you don't. In a way I would not have anticipated, ever. I would have thought something like this. Maybe here first. Black plays this one. It threatens to go under here and under here at the same time and come out. So we try and break the connection. Getting all of the Aji. Black says, you can do whatever you want in there. I just need to make sure you're not alive on the inside. So we play here. Haven't found eyes yet for white. So we Atari like so. 
and black says that's a-okay. That is a tough read. If we take, we connect. If we descend, we hane. We atari, we atari, we take, we take. So this one doesn't work. The only one that works is this one. We play here like so. And then drop down to kill the two stones. These are just forcing moves. All we're doing here is getting forcing moves so we can play that one in sente. And now that that's done in sente, it is Black's turn. White made a little bit of a living group in that corner, thanks to an invasion. But you know what? It turns out that good old Shibby Pants, he's got some invasions up his sleeve as well. Any idea where? I mean, there's not a whole lot of options for white to or for black to invade. So where's the invade? Where's this invasion taking place? Where is it going to happen? Who knows where that is going to be a thing? F2. Uh, F is this one. So here. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. What's he going to do? He's putting on his invasion pants. F16? Interesting, interesting, interesting. If we want to live, if we want to invade somewhere, we need forcing moves, right? Yeah! We need them forcing moves. So here's a way to find forcing moves. The attachment. It's a pretty forcing move. It's a dastardly forcing move, if I do say so myself. Because if we hane, if we hane, thank you for the follow, if we hane, 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 then This becomes a problem. Mild problem. Mild problem. So white says I'm going to back off solidly instead. And black says I shall as well. And white says that is completely fine because I'm putting you into a shape that's easy to kill. So white cut, or black cuts. Remember, we have an Atari here. So dropping back there is not bad. White's like, I don't care, you can't live. Black says, are you sure about that? White says, absolutely, check me out. You're not alive. But look at that. That is a cutting point. Oh no. Well, we can't do that, otherwise we're gonna die. So we have to back off. R row, which means that has to extend. R row. Black plays the Atari, threatening to kill the entire group. 
wide extends as well. We have no choice now but to kill everything as white. There you go. There's where we are right now. As long as we have the liberties, we can go back and capture this, so it's not the problem. We just need to make certain that we keep our territory here. Right? But there's... <sighs> Darn it. Wouldn't you know... There's this Aji... It's kind of a thing... Uh... Yeah, Aji. Mmm, ouch. Take. Force it connects. Again, one, uh, two, three, four, five. It's about all we need. One, two, three, four, five. That's that's okay. One, three, four, five. Yeah, that's a problem. Luckily enough, this is Sente. So if we take here, we go to here, and then we have one, two, three, to one, two, three, four. So we're good. We are A-OK. -okay. Black takes. Like so. White's capturing. Black plays some large moves. This one we discussed earlier. Very big move. And then black plays here. It looks so innocent, doesn't it? it looks so innocent. Of course we're gonna respond, not let our opponent into our corner. That would be worth like 10 points. Of course we're going to do that. But who can see it? Who can see it? Which one of y'all? Which one of y'all gets the gold star today? Where is this move going? Clamp? Hmm... No, not quite the clamp. Not quite the clamp. I assume you're referring to this. That one? No. No, 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 no. The move is amazing. Where is this amazing move? Uh-oh, we now have four liberties with that group. Okay. White's like, I can connect. This is fine. Black's like, yes, you can. This is fine, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's great. Uh-huh, fantastic. Absolutely loving it. Nothing going wrong here. Check that out. Yeah, we just connect. But that connection is huge. Huge, 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 huge. It's huge. It's huge. Because now, Atari connect. Throw it or uh, eye shape. Throw in, but that's an issue. Because to take away the liberties on this side of the eye means we have to play one, two, three, four moves, right? 
We have to play four moves. Take away that eye. Oh, look how, look how, look how, look how innocent that move looked. Look how innocent that move looked. Oh my god. It's like, do you know that this move is setting up for the empathy triangle of doom? Are you aware of that, white? Because what's white do here? Does white play this? Could. Right? Could play this out. Could play it out. Could play. We have a slight issue with the whole playing it out thing, though, don't we? Because we can't play here, right? That captures. So instead of that one, we play. Or wait. Um... So instead of this one, we play here. And then black. Then we go back and try to capture. Doesn't quite work, right? Doesn't quite work. <laughs> yes, the zombie blackstones. <laughs> the zombie blackstones. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Those stones weren't quite as dead as we thought they were. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. So yeah. Uh, the minute black played here, white resigned. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. The black stones came back to life and they were hungry. Oh, they were hungry. Oh, poor black stone. Poor white stones, rather. Poor white stones. And good on Shibby. Good on Shibby for reading that. When he played when he played here, yeah, probably, probably, it's a it's a big end game. If this move forces this, that way, um, you get to like, what was it here? That way, you get to like jump in here and take away these points. with the exchange of just like killing off like that or whatever that's huge that's huge because we already have a lot of points here for black right we already have a lot of points here for black we've got um, more we can take later He's a rich man. He's a rich man. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the examples of how uh, we fell in love with good old Shibby at, uh, earlier. Because he sacrificed his group for the outside influence. And for kicks, he also went back and killed something. So good on him. Good on him. Hope you enjoyed this game. Any questions about it? Any questions about the geek? I certainly enjoyed going over it. I certainly enjoyed going over it. I like that Shibby does not do... Or he sometimes he does, but he doesn't always do like the classic uh, bleep bloop stuff. Kind of like takes the opening and like finds a way to go like influence with it. It's kind of nice.